welcome to the Board Game Closet. My name's Jimmy. I'm Bradley. And today we're checking out... Nanga Parbat. Nanga Parbat. This is very exciting. This is a great new game from Dr. Finn Games. A two-player, which two is player. super exciting. Yes. There's not enough two-player uh, games on the market. Here's another great addition. Yep. Uh, yeah, and uh, Dr. Finn's game has always made smooth playing, well-rounded games. Yeah. And so this is another one from him. This is his newest one. And so go check it out. It's on Kickstarter right now and back this game. And uh, let's tell him what it's all about. Let's right? tell him what it's about. So this is the board that you're going to get, the main board, that is covered in these animals, which yes. are super cool, right? They're so, they're so detailed in, in how they've got them cut out you can clearly tell each one of them is different not by just the color but also the shape it looks good on the table is nice stuff and so let's talk about how you play the game yeah so on your turn you'll move your worker man worker man say up here you take a piece and then you would place your person down and then the set collection comes in because each of these animals can do different things like this guy's a wild and then say you got a few other animals from from on the board you can come up here and if you have animals of the same get you this you know certain amount of points for however many you have all different animals and then this is for your meeple that you place you turn them into tents or base camps or whatever you know the hiking term is yeah. and <laughs> and that you know it all adds up from there it, it goes really quick moves very fast mm -hmm. yeah so the basic idea is you're moving this guy around the board and what's interesting about that is you get to make a choice now off of which animal you're going to pick up so let's say i want to take this llama type thing yeah yeah um and now it shows that i'm now going to be moving this guy to number six mm -hmm. and uh so what that does is it makes you choose a couple things i'm having to choose which animal do i want but then also where am i going to be sending this person because this mm -hmm. person wherever they go is where you get to take your turn yes that's where a lot of the anxiety came <laughs> from my part is i hate the idea of giving you, yeah. you know, the piece that you need. So all the time that I took on my turns was just looking at the other person's board, trying to make sure I don't <laughs> give you too much. But because that's great is is it's all in your control, you mm -hmm. know, uh, their next turn. Of what you want to do. Of what you want to do. And now the each one of the animals has a special ability. Mm -hmm. And so they can do something different. Like you said, this blue one here, which I guess is like a ram, is a wild. The uh, the red panda is going to allow you to, it's kind of almost like a catch-up mechanism. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so if you are behind or the same amount of points as your opponent, when you pick up this red panda, they you get a point. And this game does something really interesting in that if you are behind and you need to move up a point, you don't stack on top of them. You actually leapfrog in front of them. And so that's uh, that can kind of change things. Yeah, that's great. It really changes the game, especially the games that we played. It only came down to just two or three points mm -hmm. in the end between the loser and the winner. Yeah, and so you're going to score a lot of points in the game if you collect the same kind of animals mm -hmm. or different types of animals. And so you're going to be looking at your opponent and saying, okay, he's got a whole bunch of these moose now or whatever the thing is, you know, the brown yeah. antelope type thing. And so I can't, I'm not going to get all of the same kind, so I'm going to shift gears and go a different direction. Or yeah. maybe I could take this last one from you mm -hmm. before you get it and score nine yeah. points. Yeah, and you can't forget about, like you said a second ago, all your different abilities as well. Um, I had a couple of rounds where I'd use the puma or mm -hmm. the snow leopard, whatever this guy is, and just flip people, and so that helps my turn, hurts your turn. Um, you can switch meeple with animals, animals with animals, or just move your move your guy, move mm -hmm. your hiker all the way around the board. Which is very, very interesting, the decisions you're making, is that I want to draft this bison-like guy so that yeah. I can move later on. So now I've got him, and I... Now I'm like, okay, now I've got this kind of in my bank. I've got this superpower saved up, and yeah. I could use it when I when I want to. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's that makes it crucial for again. If you have a bad round, you could just turn it all the way around. Because again, in the end of the game, the ones that we played, it came pretty close. So just getting a leg up, just a couple of rounds. Uh, it makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of decision making too in which animals you take 
uh, also play into where you place your uh, campers, mm -hmm. your yeah. hikers, or whatever these are. And so not only do I have to make the decision, okay, I want the snow leopard so that I can swap this, but then if I take the snow leopard here, then that means that my meeple is going to be placed there. And in order to make a campsite, you have to connect a whole bunch of these guys together. And the more of them that you connect, you score more points. Mm -hmm. So if I connected all of these together, I would have four people. I would get five points. Wow. And so you swap that out. You put your tents in place. And then, uh, then you continue on in the game. Um, and so there, there are a lot of decisions to be made as far as which animals do you take because of what superpower do I want and then where do I place my camper. So you could get into that whole mode of you, you got to think about the perfect one. You got to think about the perfect one. And I've said it before, there's not enough two-player games on mm -hmm. the market. This is another great addition. Uh, maybe you should check it out. Maybe yeah. you should check it out. Yeah. Nanka. Parbat. Nanga Parbat. Nanga.